Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Poland. Pugnacious Poland. We're making. We're, we're making. We're making gains. Purple's pushing. Green's pushing. They're having a hard time doing it, but they are making progress. The battle plan is doing fine. Pink is supposedly on the offense. Green is strategically rebasing over here. We need to give them. We gave them a command. We're losing lots of fights, it looks like. We're really disorganized. Field Marshal versus an actual general, though? Like, our generals should be leveling up pretty quick here. Level 5 now. Like, they're gonna start to really start to outpace the, the Field Marshals. Purple has done such a good job. He's advanced all the way to his line. Let's give him a new one. Right behind this river, including Berlin up to Rostock. Um, and tell him to go. Now keep in mind, purple is the division that has like the the armored tank in in every single, nearly every single one. So, when they're in combat, they get this thing. Zero of one enemy divisions can pierce this division's armor. So that means that this infantry has this horrible penalty, and we do tons of damage, all because we just added a tank to it. What do you want? I'm not joining your allies' faction. I'm in no faction. I'm Poland. I conquer the damn world. It's my planet. Okay, so we have uh, duplicated order borders here. The fall of Paris. The German Reich seems unstoppable. They've taken over all of France. So that means we're going to be facing the armies of Italy soon. Hey, look! The Polish juggernaut cannot be stopped. Also, I should stop playing Speed 5 Wars. That is a bad idea. Um... How's your planning bonus? Still pretty good. So the great thing is that as we march in and as, as we take over his core central provinces in here, this is where a lot of the German factories are. So his factory production should start to really come down. We're low on manpower according to the game. We have insufficient resources. We need lots of rubber and oil. We've conquered a bunch of factories. That's the problem. Um, France doesn't exist, so they can't trade with us. Uh, we'll buy from you, sure. Three military factories. We have lots of military factories available now. Let's start building fighters. Are we out? Of, we might actually be out of civilian factories to trade. I'm not sure. But this purple stack is feeling rather unstoppable. I hope that they're not losing too many men when they let stuff like this happen. Like, this is- this is us attacking. And yet, we're losing... so badly. So, why make that attack? I feel like they shouldn't do that. Are they just trying to prevent them from... recouping their organization or something? Or- or what is it? I don't really understand it.
All right, this double line needs to stop. So you control right click. Problem is that I've got two that are purple. How about you change color? had one that was kind of red. Okay, so blue is fine there. Let's pull the red arrow. Twenty-four, twenty-four. Like we have apparently not lost too many divisions, so that's good. We have a new class ship. I started the production of that ship, knowing fully well we were going to have better ones after that, but. Should have done improved artillery a long time ago. Okay, you're confident, you're confident. Um, this whole 60 stack we'll put into a new theater. We don't worry about it. So we got this, these four. If you're not feeling confident, then stop your plan and just wait. Be on the defensive, get entrenched. If you're feeling confident, like this guy, down here we're pressing. According to this, he's very confident. But we're losing like every fight. Enemy air superiority. Decryption advantage. Units with decryption advantage have increased damage and defense. But we're attacking from multiple directions. No, that's not true. We're on this side. So he's attacking from multiple directions. 108 versus 38. Okay, so that's why we're losing. It's because Germany is attacking us. But I can't help but feel like it doesn't matter... Because we're, we're making... Look at how much land we've gained. We're, we're pushing into all of his core factory areas. And I don't see it stopping. I think that these, these guys up here are going to do a good job. Okay, um... Let's bring this line down. We're still overlapping.
I want purple to focus. Focus on... You are the dominant... By far... The dominant, like... Line guy. How are we doing in this war, by the way? We've lost 218,000. We've killed 400,000 Germans. Feels pretty good, man. And our divisions are... Okay. Our commander is level 5. Level 5. 4 and 3. Almost level 5 here. It's going to help out with tactics selection. I think the only reason that he's not happy is because... I don't know. I think we're doing fine. Considering we have absolutely no air support and he's relocating, I think that's a big part of the reason why he's not feeling like he can win. Let's go. Take advantage of that air, that 80% combat planning bonus. Look at these modifiers. Train disadvantage, river crossing. Ouch, that sucks. But we've got a decryption advantage. I don't know exactly how much that helps. Oh, decryption advantage. 5% increased soft attack. Just a, it's a 5% modifier. That's not very significant. Yet another province falls. Come on, guys. Let's go. You got these. You got these stinking Germans. They smell bad. I don't care. Cross that river if you have to. Yeah, let's try to stay zoomed out a little bit occasionally. Okay, so... Can't get down there. Don't have to worry about Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is guaranteed by Great Britain. Italy is probably going to end up over here soon. Ooh, look at that. We actually lost the division. Okay, looks like purple needs new orders. I want you to focus up this way. Naval invasion. Hmm. Apparently we have one detected. Uh, let's grab from this theater here.
Actually, no. Let's use a fallback line. Fallback line is C. Okay, purple kicking ass. Green, very confident. Germans have lost 600,000 men now. We've killed twice as many as we've lost. 500,000 manpower in reserve. I'm a little concerned about that because we do have some issues with um, We do have some issues with that because, unfortunately, I, uh, I've already changed conscription law. Like, if we run low on manpower, if we get really, really low on manpower, there's not much that I can do. Okay, pink. Red. Red's command doesn't really make sense. You should actually be pushing more towards this river. And pink. Should instead... Pink, you should be trying to push into... Here. Crossing this river is going to suck. Him trying to put this many troops up here is bad for him, though, because if I can take Hamburg, he's going to have a hard time. All these troops will die. I think we just hold out on the defense for a little bit. Ooh. Purple. Why did you do this? I support your decision, but why did you do this? This is curious. You've breached the river. Continue your plan. Everyone continue their plan. They, they like, they go back and forth from like, I'm, I'm totally confident to, I'm scared. And it's probably something to do with airplanes, if I had to guess. We should pull a single regiment from here to this guy's plan. Make sure everyone's got 24. That naval invasion, I... How long do they, they take a long time, so I guess we wait. Look at that, look at that. I think we've crossed, oh, nope, not quite. We almost hit, took a second position across the river. Insufficient resources, oil and rubber. Resistance to occupation, ooh. It's time to finally train some cav. I never actually did a, uh, I never did research suppression. Military police. Uh 
let's edit this. Don't use new equipment, don't use infantry equipment too. We should probably get that squared away, like, right away, though. Um, really kind of getting concerned here. That might be too many. We only need them to be 20% trained. 27? That's too many. Let's get 20. Okay, well, uh, we almost took this province, but then they defended it again. There's a lot of dudes in the mountains. How many airplanes do we have? We have 87 fighters. Nice. Very nice. I want uh, suppression. Okay, these planes are almost there. Okay, they're here. We're going to sign all. We want closer support and air superiority. Let's see if maybe we can start swinging our airplanes around. Let's grab these airplanes. And let's say that the fighters can actually go up to a thousand. Well, in this case, 600 is the most we can put here, so let's go like 500. Somewhere around there. So as fighters come out, they should automatically reinforce. Also, before I forget, we just upgraded artillery and we just upgraded... Uh, Infantry equipment. Let's make sure that the cav... Yep, awesome. So it automatically didn't let them use the new equipment. Good stuff. Uh, okay. I need... What do I need? Toad Artillery 1 needs to get upgraded to Toad Artillery 2. Right. Tons of army experience. I suppose what we could do... We do have that one production line. Making that one tank. Where the hell is it? We can make a variant of the light tank. Is there even any point to it, though? I don't think so. Alright, these guys are all having a hard time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stop this plan the most part and let them suffer because they are suffering attrition we're gonna let them all just die just die you are blocked out sir so we keep 10 divisions on this front that seems like a, a 
perfectly acceptable number. Uh, we create a new attack order at some point. I'm having a very hard time advancing along this line. Air support may have made a difference. Um, lots of combat happening in this region. Let's bring our air over here. We have 160 fighters, now 157. We have apparently two anti-air guns on our side. Active enemy bombers. Well, oh, they're, they're bombing their own stuff, huh? Nice. Production efficiency retention, or no, neither. We need more of everything. We need to build close air support. Did I ever research that airplane? I did not. I would like to. So as soon as that finishes, we need to remember to do that. Research the next level of close air support. Having air superiority on its own is good, but close air support can assist in combat, and we want that. Okay, airplanes. How's that attrition feel? Doesn't feel too good, does it? Germany gonna die. 1.28 million. Germany gonna die. We're, we're really getting kind of low on troops here. I'm getting a little concerned. Uh, we can deploy now. What did I just do? Oh god, I just cancelled them all. Damn it! Oh, no, I clicked... Thank goodness. Okay, I deployed them all. Perfect. Um, you are part of an army. You are a new theater. You are the... Resistance control. Lowest priority reinforcement. Uh, do you get a, Do you even get a commander? No, not really. Um, F6... Garrison here, here. Six. Get out there and do some suppression. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to take a break here. Next episode, we're going to uh, continue to push back on Germany and just kill Germany. Because it's Germany. We're going to kill them. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon.